Hello folks and welcome. Today's video is about automatic wallpaper changers. I got two of them for you. These wallpapers are now cycling every five seconds and uh, more importantly I'll talk about the tool that does this. These images are in random order. Some of them are coming off the internet. As a matter of fact currently setting uh, they're coming off the internet from different sources. You can also add your own home folder uh, pictures to the mix and even subfolders. In other words, custom folders with your own custom pictures. Pictures of the kids, um, grandkids, uh, friends, pets, whatever it might be. All right, so I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. You can adjust your YouTube player accordingly. You're watching this on Linux for seniors. There should be an icon floating above your time and date. And uh, if you don't notice, uh, there's a watermark that's going to stay here the whole time, even though these images are changing. It actually says Linux for Seniors, and the only way you can see that is where it's dark like this. But this will remain here. So if you don't see that icon, go find me on YouTube, Linux for Seniors. Welcome, folks. A little bit different perspective today. I'm going to tone this down a little bit. So I'm going to pause that. It's currently set for five seconds. I can set that also for five minutes or five hours or even five days if I like. All right, we'll stick it for five minutes, but I want to turn it off. So that doesn't mean that the tool is off. I can still manually change this image by either clicking and do the previous or next. On some distributions, because this tool is available for other Linux distros, you can hit next and continually hit next. You can also take your mouse cursor. Mine is a little different and hopefully you've seen some other videos on how to change mouse pointers because this one is custom. This one's a see-through if you can see through that. And uh, more importantly, I'm gonna point it at this icon. This is variety. So this uh, icon, variety is the spice of life, but in this case, it's an automatic wallpaper changer, downloader, and manager. All right, so Peter Levy has uh, changed a lot of things about this application, but most of it have remained the same, which I'm kind of glad because I, I like this application. I personally use it myself. It automatically changes the wallpaper, and sometimes it's fun to see different wallpapers pop up out of the blue. And you can also mix in your own photos. All right. But more importantly, on this Cinnamon desktop, this is Linux Mint 21.3, you can take your mouse pointer if you're using a standard mouse, standard computer mouse with a scroll wheel and point at the icon and scroll over it by scrolling forward to change that picture. I'm going to scroll again, scroll again, and scroll again. And then I'm going to scroll backwards. And I'm back to the same image. You can also click the next and the previous. The cool thing about this tool too is it also tells you a lot of the photos where they're coming from. Now I'm going to view this at NASA picture of the day because that's where it came from. So I'm just waiting for a connection. And this is uh, APOD at NASA.gov and uh, this is the M51 Whirlpool Galaxy. Now we know what that came from. All right, let me open this tool back up. These can be turned on and off, disabled, enabled. So let me pick on Bing for a second and you can see a library of things. So I'll click that one because they're manually selected also. So if I leave this off, this tool, this will remain here the whole time. I'll turn off the preview by right clicking and closing. This is going to remain here until I change it or turn it back on because I can also do the image resume on regular changes or I can go back to preferences and reactivate that. All right, so where do you get this tool? Well, you can get it from Software Manager or Synaptic Package Manager. All right, so if you type it in here, it's called Variety. You'll find it right here and it doesn't have a screenshot. If you open up Synaptic, I think there is a screenshot there. It's a full-size screenshot, as a matter of fact. 
But if you're using software manager, a lot of people will look at that going, I don't know what this looks like, so they skip over it and, or don't understand it. But I've been using this tool for many years because uh, Peter's had this out for many years and I like it. But more importantly, you may not, but that's okay. We all have different things we like. This one is, like I said, you can uh, manually pick these. Okay, just different perspective here. You can uh, switch over to the Bing side and also look at that library and pick some images. Or we can go to Flickr and pick those random images in here too. Or we can do it manually. That's the cool thing about using this tool. So we can also, again, you can just cycle through these by pointing at this and using your scroll wheel on, a, on your computer mouse and just keep scrolling. As long as you take the pointer part and point at that icon. Because it does work on this desktop. On some other desktops, you literally have to click. Okay. Just wanted to let you know that if you, in case you install that on a different Linux distro, sometimes you have to click. It all depends on how the desktop handles this tool. My panel bar is see-through. You can probably see that. It's semi-transparent. That is achieved with this tool here called Transparent Panel, which is found in Downloads. The watermark is where this is coming from. And I can actually increase the watermark capacity to where you can almost see it. I just wanted to remind you where you're watching this because I have found my videos on someone else's channel and they stripped off the uh, watermark for the subscription key. That's why I'm flashing this up there occasionally. Okay, just to remind you, if you don't see a subscription key, you can find me on YouTube. Okay, let me tone this back down a little bit more. All I'm doing is making that semi-transparent. This will not go away even though I change these images. You can still see that logo there. All right, so we know we can get stuff from the internet. What about our own pictures? Well, our user for today is Mary. Just a made up name. Mary has some pictures. Maybe she wants to have that added to the mix. All right, in that case, we shall open up Variety's preference box after we install the application, of course, and we can add the extra folder. The folders can be up to 10,000 images shown in random order. So we are going to click that and hit add. And I can manually select these temporarily. This is still off. So I added this folder to the mix of these things coming off. A lot of these are coming off the internet, right? Yes, there's a lot of options in here, but I just use the general tab. It's almost like overkill, but anyways, I, I just use this one here. And then I can turn this back on and every five seconds in this case, it's going to cycle through a photo. So let me turn off the preview and just let you, let you look at that for a second. This will keep cycling. And sometimes it's interesting because you're working with something in a windowed environment and the image changes because you're not working in full screen. And it's kind of nice to let you see different things. So if you are wanting to pause on a photo, for instance, then all you do is either go in here or do the image pause on current. And this will hold this image. You can also cycle forward and backwards by scrolling with your computer mouse. And you can also reactivate that in here because it's currently in pause mode. So if I were to resume, then it starts cycling again. And then I can turn it back off. So a variety. Now, when you are using the other tool that I'm about to talk about that's already installed on your system, you make sure that you turn this off. In other words, disable it by just turning this box off. That's all you need to do. 
and then you can right click on your screen and change desktop settings and then pick your own images. Okay, I'm going to delete that for a second because I don't want you to see that. Normally you also have your pictures folder. So in this case, Mary's pictures folder will also be part of the mix. So Linux Mint, Vanessa and Virginia. These are the latest wallpapers from Linux Mint. Say hello to the Icelandic Puffin. So in here we have settings. If you did not know, you can play your backgrounds as a slideshow. Some people know about this tool and maybe some not so much. Again, the, the watermark logo is going to remain here no matter what. But I can have this turn this on and once I do, it'll start cycling these photos in this folder here, whatever folder I picked. As soon as I do that, it starts cycling those pictures. In this case, in one minute increments, this is the lowest it'll go. You can go higher than that, of course, you know, one minute, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, whatever it might be. And you, do you want to play the images in random order or sequential order? Well, this is currently set to random, so it's going to start picking random pictures in here and start cycling them every one minute. Every one minute, every one minute. All right, picture aspect ratio, you can also change. Sometimes stretched and zoom is just fine. The background color usually has to do with if the image has a black border. And sometimes that'll occur depending on the size of your image. So that's what the color means. Now, you can also change the folder. Now it's going to be taking pictures in here. Right now it's working on 16 because that looks just like this mushroom. And that is going to be doing that in random order. So if I started this tool here without the random, it goes to the first image then the next, then the next, and the next. What if I want to bring in my own subfolder? So let's open up the file manager and look at Mary's pictures. Again, Mary's just a made up user and she has a folder called stuff. In that stuff, she has six pictures of her choice. She threw them in here and she would like to use these. These are pictures, could be pictures of the kids, the grandkids, the pets, the friends, whatever she wanted to put into stuff, personal stuff. If that's all you want to see cycling on your wallpapers or backgrounds, then go ahead and select a folder like that by doing this. Now it'll just cycle through the stuff. So whatever Mary had in her stuff folder is what you're going to see on your screen cycling through in one minute increments or whatever she chooses. Okay. You can also delete these folders. If I didn't like the pictures one, I just wanted stuff because I didn't want to see any of my pictures because maybe Mary did not want to see all of these being displayed on her screen. She only wanted certain ones. That's when you create your own subfolders and you throw in the photographs of those kids, the grandkids, the uh, wallpapers off the internet whatever you are using for backgrounds in this case. Whatever you do, if you have this tool running and you have Variety installed, do not have both of them running at the same time. Pause one of them. So if you're using the tool that's built into Mint, but you also have Variety installed, then pause Variety. All you got to do is uncheck that box and it will not start doing anything with this tool and then you can use this one here and cycle through your images this way. You may not want to install that tool. That's all up to you. See, right now it's working on the second photo here because I told it to do it in sequence instead of random. So after another minute, it'll go to the mushroom and so forth and so on. Now I'm going to turn the tool off. And now I can select these manually. Or if I choose to reactivate these, 
all I got to do is take my mouse and scroll over these. And now it's going to cycle through these manually. The tool is still off, even though I'm scrolling with my computer mouse. This tool is still not on automatically. I have to turn it on. Now it'll start cycling in five second increments. So there's a lot of things you can do with these tools to have a little fun. At the same time, just remember that at least with this tool, you can view some of these images at their sources. Let's try another one. And uh, get some more information about these photos that are coming off the internet. Not everything contains information, but a lot of things do. Subscribe to Linux for Seniors. I have lots of videos for you. Thank you for watching.